If you're someone who has just began to start learning how to rap and you've embarked on your musical journey, then you may be wondering, just like any other trip you may take, how long is it actually going to take you to actually reach your destination? And that's what this video is all about. After watching this video, you're going to have a much better understanding of how long you can anticipate it taking you to get really good at rapping. So without further ado, let's get it. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cole Mize with ColeMizeStudios.com bringing you another segment of Be A Better Rapper Now. Now let's talk about artist development for a moment. Now I have personally been training rappers for the past four years via my one-on-one -on -one coaching service. And through that, I have noticed that some rappers seem to develop or grow or improve faster than others. And I began to wonder, why is this? And honestly, this is something that bothered me for a little while because, you know, when someone's paying me money to train them and to help cultivate them and their skills and help grow them, I take ownership of that. I take that very serious. So their problems become my problems. And so after doing a little bit of investigating, I just started asking some of my students straight up. I was like, hey, if you don't mind me asking, how many hours would you say realistically, just realistically, are you practicing every single week? And what I found out was very interesting. And it was one of those dub moments, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you can't figure something out and when you do figure it out, you're like, duh. <laughs> it was one of those type of moments. And what I realized was my students that were growing the quickest were simply just practicing more hours per week than the ones that weren't growing as fast. So here's some specifics for you. My students that were growing the quickest were practicing anywhere between 10 to 15 hours per week, which is about two to three hours per day. And my students who were seeing little improvement were only practicing about two to three hours per week, which that's a big difference. And it has been said that it takes about 10,000 hours to master anything. Now, if this is true, if you were to practice rapping for three hours per day, it would take you about 3,333 days to master your rap skills, which is a little bit over nine years. Now keep in mind, this figure is to master your rap skills, like to an Eminem rap god type level. But if you're putting in three hours per day, man, you're gonna see dramatic and significant results very quickly. So let me talk about myself for a moment. How long did it take Cole Mize to get good at rapping? Now let me show my age a little bit. I started rapping when I was about 10 years old, around 1996, it wasn't something I was like super like into, like I just knew this is what I was gonna do. I wasn't necessarily like, you know, practicing every single day. It was just something I was playing around with and experimenting with and having fun just because I was a fan of hip hop. So I would just simply, you know, be listening to a lot of rap music and if I felt the inspiration of the urge, I would just try to see if I could do it and I would just pin together my own rap lyrics and see if I could come up with something that sounded decent over an instrumental. But it wasn't until about four to to six years later when I really started taking rapping a lot more serious once I got into high school. This was mainly because up until that point, I was pretty much the only rapper that I knew. I come from a really small country town. I didn't know any other rappers that I could just, you know, get together with and bounce rhymes off of and get feedback and stuff like that. But once I got into high school, Man, there was a lot of rappers in high school. So up until that point, I was just working in complete isolation. Now, take note. And in high school, I started recording local rappers in my makeshift studio, which is really just a cheap, like $10 microphone that used to come with computers back in the day. And I CD burners had just came out. So I was like, man, I can make my own music. You know, I can print my own CDs. Like, this is like super legit. So I started recording local rappers in my little makeshift studio in my bedroom at my parents' house. And at the time, I was still a little bit of somewhat of a secret rapper. Like I wasn't like really putting my stuff out there quite yet. I wasn't quite that proud of it yet or that confident in it to be like just putting it out there in front of everybody. But it wouldn't be long until people started figuring out my little secret. And the next thing you know, I was asked to join one of the local rap groups that I was recording. And we ended up spending about three to four hours every single day after school working on music. And that's a conservative number. It was likely more than that, but I'm just gonna say conservatively 
on average three to four hours per day working on music. And after I graduated, the daily time that I spent on rapping every single day increased a lot and so did my skills. I remember there was plenty of days where I would get waking up from one of my fellow rap members knocking on my window to let them in at 6 a.m. in the morning and we would be working on music all the way until 12 at night into the next morning. And it was during this era, four to five years of being in this rap group, working that much every single day on music, where I seen that my rap skills just improved dramatically in a short period of time. And this was for two main reasons. Number one, I was no longer working in isolation and I was forced to accept and realize that my skills were not as good as I thought they were when it was just me rapping in my bedroom alone. And this gave me a reference point of what skill level I needed to reach so I wouldn't feel like I'm bringing down and ruining the songs that I was getting on with my fellow rap group members. And it was this healthy amount of pressure, if you will, that really pushed me to really take my skills to a whole other level. And reason number two, I began rapping for at minimum, and I do mean minimum, the, the least, two to three hours per day for about four to five years. And here's the thing, once I started putting in that amount of hours in per day, I started noticing my rap gains. And that's what really gave me that sense of momentum. It gave me a really good feeling knowing that, hey, this time that I'm putting in, I'm actually starting to see some results. You know, yeah, I'm not going from like zero to 100 overnight, but I can see the progress and that momentum kept me encouraged and motivated and inspired to keep going even harder because I knew, hey, if I keep depositing this money in to this bank, you know, my my increase is just going to continue to grow. I'm going to see that portfolio continue to grow, you know, from a rap skill business metaphorical point of view. <laughs> and with that being said, everybody's going to grow at different paces for different reasons. And here are a few of those. Number one, everyone doesn't have the same amount of free time to practice every day. Number two, some people just have a stronger drive for rapping and therefore they dedicate or sacrifice more time to it than others. Number three, some people already have some type of musical experience before they come into rapping and that gives them a definite advantage. And number four, I've also found that people who listen to a lot of music and learn a lot of the music they're listening to, meaning they can actually, you know, rap someone's verse or they can uh, sing a hook. That type of stuff helps you develop even more as a rapper because technically when you learn a piece of a song, even if it is just a verse or part of a verse or a hook, that's technically you practicing music. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is put myself in the hot seat. I'm gonna do something a little bit of uh, embarrassing or cringy to me personally, and I'm gonna share with you a song that I wrote in uh, high school. So this is about six years into me rapping, give or take. And uh, my skills wasn't, you know, too bad, but there was a lot to, there was a lot to be desired, okay? It's, I cringe when I hear it, and I'm only doing this to encourage you out there to let you know that wherever you are currently as a rapper is okay. You know, no one, like Eminem, for an example, doesn't come out of his mother's womb rapping rap god you know there's a lot of years and there's a lot of practice and just artist development that gets him to that level you don't start off there everybody starts at zero and then has to build up from there and so i'm going to share with you a track from high school i was probably uh i would say i'm probably about 16 years old at this time about 16 years old about six years into rapping um, and also I had an advantage as well coming in because I had, uh, let me see, about five years of experience playing in, a, in my school's competition band from elementary to, to middle school. And then I dropped out of band right before high school because I thought I was too cool to be carrying around my saxophone case with me. Um, I was trying to get those girls in high school, you know. But, uh, <laughs> but check this out. I'm just going to play a little bit for you. And, uh, and then I'm going to play a track that I did a few years back that I actually won a rap competition with uh, amongst 60 other rappers. I won first place. So it's, it's a jump. It's a jump. Let's just check it out. Oh, God. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it for you, okay? <laughs> Why do 
I live this life? I messed up the first time, second time, we'll make it right. I, I gotta, gotta ask you why sometimes. I hate to bother with these questions, hope you don't mind. But every time I try to do right, someone bring me down. To make me wear a smile when it really is a frown. To turn around and stay in place and try to hide my face. Is this the place that I belong in today? Is this okay? I need an answer really quick. Is this a trick? I see a girl I wanna be with. And then I see it as I think, as I also wait. Is her road dirt or is it already paved? Is I behave, I'm thinking I don't know what else to do. I see no cue, I turn to you and pray at the pew, but nothing new seems to happen recently. I got my heart set right, but it's beating me and teaching me. So, um, you know, I can listen to this and I know that I, there was a lot of improvement before this track. Okay, so this track, the recording is garbage. I made the beat to this track. For some reason, there's like no kick or no snare to it. <laughs> I don't... You know, so you, you're hearing the beginning of me as a producer as well, making beats and stuff like that. So it, there's a lot bad about it, but for the most part, I'm rapping on beat. Um, I'm not speaking as clearly as I do now. So my speech has improved a lot from being a rapper because I've constantly criticized myself um, when I'm listening to recordings and stuff. Even in the past, um, when I used to leave people like voicemail messages, I would always play it back and critique like how I speak, like how clearly am I speaking? Am I slurring too many of my words? And I still do that sometimes and I have to slow myself down a little bit and sp speak a little bit slower. But um, but yeah, there's a, there was a lot of hard work and stuff that went into getting to that point right there I just played to you. Again, that's about six years into rapping and uh, this is during high school. So I was really putting a lot of hours into practicing every single day. And so this is really when I really started, really starting to see rap gains, basically. I call them rap gains. It's really starting to see good results. Um, but let's fast forward. And um, this is me rapping 17 years in now. So about 14 years after that last track you heard. And this is, uh, this is actually what I won a rap competition with. And check out the difference. So even though the first one isn't totally bad, as, as far as if you just listen to my timing and my rhyming and rhyme schemes and stuff, there's a lot of good things that are there, but there's still a lot that needs to be improved upon. But check this out. It just hurt it. Like it was like a, a finishing, you know what I'm saying? Type of hit. <laughs> I got a story to tell if it's all right. My best friend, before she was my wife, came with me and my cousin to have fun with us at a function one night. We was just rolling down the street, strolling to go bowling. No smoking, token, snouting, coking, popping, open peels, just holding, ghosting. When we got to the venue, we checked in, then went to the shoes. Played a couple games, caught a couple guys, trying to eye my friend, but get cool. Then me and the two went to play pool. Who would have knew this would be the prelude? Walked in the room, nothing to do with his goons. I assumed that I better zoom in and stay tuned. Then I began to extend my antenna. Cause man, understand, I don't want he must have run a scan on my band cause and He walked on over with a phone and a camera And basically he blatantly was taking these amazingly brazenly Photographic snaps of a back and asked how did that actually fit in them jeans I'm heated at how disrespectful he's being For all that he knows that's my date for the evening I hate that he's being degrading as he is I'm praying cause I wanna lay in and beat him I had a full stick ready to use it Let him get stupid but gotta think how it may pan out I got two girls, he got two guys But we better ride or I guess I'm going to jail now So there you go, that's 17 years in That's a lot of growth and here's the thing, as of now, I'm about 23, 24 years into rapping. And guess what? I'm still growing. I'm still learning. Like, you know, and I believe that's true with anything that you do in life. You know, you never quit growing. You never, you never should quit growing because at least me, I'm a curious person. I'm always wanting to learn something new. There's always something I'm trying to get better at. And with rapping is music and music is, is there's like, so many different things that you can do with music. And so it's something I'm still just as much in love with and curious about as I was when I first was trying to figure out if I could even possibly get decent at rapping when I first started off, you know? So let that encourage you wherever you are right now, just be okay with that. We all have to start from somewhere and don't beat yourself up about that. So that's me putting myself on blast Hope you enjoy that. So regardless of wherever you are in your musical journey, the more miles that you cover per day, the quicker you're going to reach your destination. But 
There's no rush. A journey isn't about just reaching your destination as fast and as quickly as possible. It's about the experience of that journey. This isn't a race, it's a marathon. And the people that reach that rap god status have likely been rapping for eight plus years. I personally been rapping for around 24 years in total. And guess what? I'm still learning. So don't set unrealistic expectations for yourself. That's a recipe for just creating a lot of frustration, which makes the whole learning how to rap journey not even fun. And always remember, nothing grows to full maturity overnight. Just, just think about a tree that you see that's humongous. It once was just a little bitty Charlie Brown looking Christmas tree at one point in time. But you see, if you're putting in 10 to 15 hours of practice time a week into rapping, you're gonna see your rap gains very quickly. And as the saying goes, practice makes perfect. Well, if I were just to add just a little bit to that, it's not just about practicing, it's about what you're practicing. So you wanna practice things in the right order to make your practice time as effectively as possible. And the number one thing that I recommend to any rapper out there who's just beginning their musical journey as a rapper and trying to, to get their feet planted and get some traction is you need to first focus on ear training and rhythm. Most rappers make the mistake of first focusing just on lyrics. You know, they wanna be a rapper, so the first thing they do is they just pull the pad and pen out and they start pinning up some lyrics and they quickly realize that their lyrics don't sound good over the beat. And that's because a lot of people don't realize that rappers are musicians. When you hear someone rapping, you're you're hearing a lot of things at the same time. But the only the, the only thing that you really notice at first is the lyrics because that's what makes sense to you. You understand words, you've grown up with words. That resonates with you. What's not as obvious is the reason it sounds so good is because there's a musical part about rapping, which is why it sounds good over music. So if you just go to writing lyrics, you're gonna quickly realize that it doesn't just sound automatically good over the beat because there's a musical component to it that's missing. And that's why I recommend people start off focusing on the musical side of rapping. Focus on the ear training, the rhythm, all that good stuff because that's the foundation needed to be a good rapper. Without that, everything else that you do will always fall apart. And you may be wondering like, okay, Cole, you say that, that's where I should start, but how do I actually do that? I mean, how am I supposed to know exactly what to be practicing? Well, lucky for you, I've already put together a free mini course called Five Minutes to a Better Rap Flow, and it takes you through that whole process from the very beginning basics all the way to more advanced stuff, and it's all focusing on ear training. It's, it's actually like practice drills and stuff where I, I set something up for you, I demonstrate it, I explain it, then I ask you, okay, now do it back with me. Let's do it together. Let's throw this back and forth. And so it's like a, a guided practice for you. And if I were just starting like rapping today with the knowledge that I know now, this is exactly what I would focus on first. So lucky for you, it's free, it's available to you right now. Remember, this, the, the name of this whole series is, is not be a better rapper one day, it's be a better rapper now. And I'm telling you, if you start putting in the practice hours, it keep failing over and over and over again. That's how you get good at anything. It's about failing over and over and over again and enduring through that. That's how you begin to master these, these levels to this rap game. So make sure that you check out the five minutes to a better rap flow series. It's gonna help you out a lot. It's gonna be available at the little eye icon right there. It'll also be in the video's description below and uh, get on that, trust me. And the most important thing that I can leave you with is this, the reason that you're rapping in the first place is very important. If you have a true love and passion for rapping, then that's gonna help you endure all the bumps in the road, all the difficulties, all the hurdles that you're gonna have to overcome. And if you love something, you will make sacrifices for it. And you'll love it for what it is, not just for what you hope comes from it, such as fame and money, etc. The key to mastering anything in life it starts with discipline. You have to be disciplined to practice and fail over and over and over again when it's not fun, when you don't feel like it, when it don't feel good. You have to be disciplined to say, you know what, today I'm gonna get my time in to practice this rap thing. Today, I'm, I know I'm gonna fail over and over and over again, but I want this goal, I wanna reach this goal of being really good at this whole rap thing. And so today I'm putting in my hours. Today, I'm going to cover a few more miles in my rap journey to get to my destination. And with that discipline comes consistency. The more often that you do something, the better you're just gonna get at it. It's that simple. 
you know, I love my how to rap video tutorials and they're awesome and everything, but they won't help you unless you do the other part, which is practicing implementing these techniques. That is when you truly learn something. You may understand the concept behind something that I'm teaching in a video or something, but you don't truly understand it. You don't truly know it until you can apply it. So it's just like, you know, going to a doctor and being prescribed like medication. That medication doesn't do you any good until you've actually been able to effectively apply it. So with discipline comes consistency showing up every day regardless of how you feel and just putting those hours in and the last piece to the puzzle is patience and i know it's tough when you're struggling with something when you just keep getting beat every single day at something that you're trying to achieve it sucks and you want to give up but it's just like anything else it's like a video game that you may be playing and you get stuck on a level and this is so difficult to beat it but if you keep coming back to it you're just incrementally getting better every time that you fail it's true. It may not feel good. You may not realize it in the moment, but that's exactly what's happening. We learn from our mistakes. That's why, you know, an L is never a loss as long as you learn a lesson. So every time that you fail, you're going to be learning little different things. Even if you don't like, like process it in your brain and know exactly what you're learning, just getting that time in, you are learning whether you realize it or not. So you got to keep putting that time in and keep failing over and over and over again but be patient be patient don't set unrealistic expectations once again nothing grows to to full maturity overnight so pace yourself enjoy the struggle because it is it, and that's the fun part of it like once again how fun is a video game that's just super easy to beat we like challenges we like the struggle so enjoy the struggle embrace the suck embrace the struggle because i promise you if you keep being consistent if you keep just being disciplined and you're patient with yourself, that's the recipe of how you master anything in life. So I hope that's helpful to you. And again, if you're just starting off rapping, I highly recommend you start with my five minutes to a better rap flow series. You're gonna see that available at the end of this video on the screen where you can click on it. Go ahead, I recommend just save that playlist. Just save it to your YouTube so you can come back over and over and over again and just practice at your own pace. Don't try to get through all the videos in just a few days. Practice along with it and move at your own pace and just keep putting that time in. And that way you'll know that you're practicing on the right things. And once you reach the point of failure, you'll know that you're on the right track because that's something that you struggle with. So you always wanna focus on the things that you have difficulty with and that's how you get better. So check that out. And if you're new to my channel, I have a very special gift for you today. And it's a free copy of my ebook, The Number One Fundamental to Rapping. And in this book, it's gonna go through all the basics of how rapping works in an easy to read ebook format that you can consume all in one day. And it's gonna give you just a really good understanding of how this whole rap thing works, takes away the mysteriousness off of what rapping is. And it's a really good read. And in that, I teach you what I believe is the number one fundamental to rapping. So make sure that you check that out. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Again, I'm Cole Moz with ColeMozStudios.com. And remember, when it comes to rapping, there's no rules. There's only techniques.